Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with an SSD which is a bit different, actually a lot different from what we are used to see. We have seen a lot of SSDs, different shapes, different formats, different speeds. This one has a special characteristic which is it is protected by fingerprint, which is this sensor right over here. And it's great for those of you that want to have data secured. And then with one click, you will have your data enabled for you. This is a awesome SSD in that aspect. Now, in terms of the package, really simple. It comes with this package. It just says new queue. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. Different capacities. This is a one terabyte SSD. So a lot of data for those of you that want to keep data secured. You will leave it anywhere and you will be sure that only you or the fingerprints that you allow will be able to access. And actually, it will be able to store 10 different fingerprints which I will show in just a few moments. So the package comes with the SSD which is well designed made of metal enclosure with the fingerprint sensor here which lights blue and it has a few more colors but blue is the normal color and then on the back it has a black glossy metallic glass type of material it is high quality it's not plastic it's not plastic so it feels really nice and it has a usb type c port it comes with two cables one usb type c to usb type c one usb type c to usb type a so we are covered and also with a really nice pouch so that we can transport this Manual, which is so simple to use that we don't need a manual. It works on Mac OS, on Windows, Android and iPad OS. So compatible across all the devices. Now, how easy it is to set it up? Really, really easy. All we need to do is to plug it into a computer. We can use Windows or Mac to configure this. I did use my MacBook Pro. Once we insert the SSD, we will be able to access the drive because it's not protected yet. We will access the folder which has a Windows folder, a Mac folder and a manual. So the manual will have the same information that we have right over here, but a little bit more. And we can then install the drivers for Windows or for Mac. In my particular case, I did install for Mac. It's a software called NewQ SSD. Once we have the installation done, we will need to restart the computer. And after that, we can configure the SSD. Now, the first step is to configure a password. And then we can move on to the fingerprint setting, which in my opinion is the most valuable because I don't have the patience to be typing a password. All I want to do is plug in the SSD, put in my finger and unlock it. Once that is uh, configured, as I said, we can configure up to 10 fingerprints and we can name them. So I can well, do one for my sister, for my uncle, for my cat, for my dog, for my, for my bird. It doesn't matter. We have 10 options available. And once that is done, we can shut down and that is it. I can use it on any computer. I don't need to install the software on any other computer and I can even uninstall this computer this software I just need the software to make changes if I want to change the password if I want to add more fingerprints then I will need the software if I don't then I don't need to install uh, on this mini computer right over here Windows I don't have the software installed on the Mac studio I don't have the software installed and I did test it out just need to plug it in what happens is that it will show a drive called encrypt and on that drive encrypt it will have about 50 megabytes of storage and it will only show the drivers and the manual that is it if we don't give permission with our fingerprint we will not be able to access the full drive once I put my fingerprint it's quick to recognize the finger and it will enable the full drive so it's really safe and really really nice to have this feature which is the first time that we see here on the channel in terms of unlocking and locking really secure really it looks like one of those phones like we have like my samsung galaxy s20 fan edition which has fingerprint sensor right over here and I would say that it's similar to this in terms of reaction, in terms of accuracy, really, really nice. And the best thing in my opinion is that once we configure it, we can use it anywhere, any computer, and we can leave it here for one month. 
I know for sure that if anyone touches it, it will not be able to access the content that is inside. Before we go, one last test, which is the speed test. We need to do this to every single SSD that comes to the channel. And the results are simple, 500 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, which is not the fastest, it's not the slowest, it's a normal value. And it's totally worth it for those that are looking to store a lot of data different capacities. This one is one terabyte, link down below. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. Today, with the new Q SSD protected by fingerprint sensor. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.